What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do? My power's out because we had a storm and I have like 50% battery on my laptop. So let's do this. There is an update. My Nexus 5 that I'm using to record this video got the 4.4.3 update. And this phone has it. Um, well, it, they're, they're pushing it out to devices. You can see the article right here. So what we're going to do is show you that we have... Um, recovery installed at the moment so i'm gonna go to titanium backup and this is going on my second channel because well it's not that great of a video so and also it's it's the same thing as rooting it and installing custom recovery except you install stock recovery so to me it's like eh, it's a, i don't like making pointless videos so reboot the device into recovery just to show you that we have recovery and this isn't all fake or anything like that so Rebooting into recovery here. All right, there you go. See, team win, custom recovery, twerp. I downloaded the stock recovery from XDA. It's it's called recovery. They link to this Android file host thing. Uh, recovery. Um, oh, I'm not tethering anymore. Dang it. Oh, this phone was tethering because my power's out. I don't have internet. So anyways, I'm glad I downloaded the file. It's right here. <laughs> um... So let's reboot into bootloader. But you'll just download it from Android file host and you'll put it in your platform tools folder. So gonna upload this from my phone. So hopefully my internet goes fine. We are now in bootloader. It says fast boot USB. You don't have to be S off, but I highly recommend being S off so you can make changes to the system partition. So like you can use BusyBox and install it. You can use Exposed Framework and it'll install to the system. Uh, you, know, you can update your PRL through everything. Oh, and before the OT update, you can see that we are on radio 1142133193131. one LA02 underscore 2G. So there's that information. Um, it's whenever the update gets pushed to my device and I apply it. Um, we're going to lose root, not not by installing stock recovery. You will keep root. But once you install stock recovery and you accept the update, you're going to lose root. So you'll need to re-download custom recovery and flash that in the same mode that you're flashing the stock recovery right now. So we can go ahead and set the phone down because really it's not going to be doing anything. Um, and here we just need to hold down the shift button on our keyboard and then right click and choose open command window here. From here we can type in ADB or fast boot devices to confirm that it is indeed in fast boot mode, which I know it is. So what we're gonna do is type fast boot flash recovery, and then it's called the name of the recovery is called recovery GPE. So REC tab should autocomplete it. And then We've got all the commands typed in, so we'll press enter. This this really isn't going to... Well, I guess there's a little bar right here that tells you that it's flashing stock recovery. So now if we go to reboot down here, and we hold down the power the volume down button, okay, well, whenever this boots up we'll do it real quick just to show you the way of stock recovery since i did show you with custom recovery i guess it would be whatever so there will be links in the description to download this recovery gpe file and flash stock recovery and then you will go to me menu settings in fact you know what whatever it's only it's four minutes long this is going on my second channel i guess it doesn't really matter so i'll put in my little code here and agree um turn back on yes okay so settings about device system updates check for updates okay there isn't any updates yet but when there is i will be able to apply it so in here we can type adb reboot bootloader and i'll bring my phone up here oh wait you know you know we can too we can choose recovery and enter oh i did i did the wrong thing i did recover it wow i'm an idiot i am truly an idiot that's awesome so 
So, <laughs> ADV reboot recovery. There's a way to run a command where it waits till your phone's ready to accept the ADB command. So we're just going to wait till it. Technically, we could do it now, but we're going to wait till it shows the screen. Once I show you stock recovery, I'm going to end the video, I promise. Okay, we're going to press enter as soon as the sucker boots. So it takes a second. There we go. We have stock recovery on our HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. So now when our device says there is an update available, we can go ahead and accept it and apply it. Once we apply it, we're going to lose root. But all we got to do is go back into ADB Reboot Bootloader, Fast Boot Flash, Recovery, Open Script, Twerp, whatever the name is, and then press Enter. And then uh, either ADB Sideload or put it on a USB OTG device like this guy right here and flash super issue and reboot. So very, very simple. Basically the same exact method as my how to root video, but yeah, there's a way to get the code. But you hold down a certain thing, volume up and power now. Oh, yeah, volume up and power. There we go. So now we can do all this stuff in here, but reboot system now. That's it. That's all I want to show you. We went from custom recovery to stock recovery so we can apply the update. Apply the update, let it update, install custom recovery, install super issue, reboot, enjoy having 4.4.3, and enjoy having a rooted phone. This is what we Josh do. Please subscribe to my second channel. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Please also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm out.